Okay, right now I'm going to tie up for you guys a fly that we've been tying and fishing for a lot of years now. It's a Lansigan pattern called the Iron Lotus. I'm going to tie it in the PMD variation. So I've got a size 14 Dairiki 135. I've got a gold 764 tungsten bead and about 7 wraps of 15 thousandths lead. So the first thing we're going to do, this is a thread bodied fly. So I'm going to take some 140 uh, denier UTC rusty brown thread. This is going to be the underbody. Uh, thread material. I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Okay, tie it on back. Okay, now for a tail, I'm going to take seven or eight fibers of Coq de Leon. This is hands down the best mayfly tail material that uh, that I found. I use it on a lot of my flies. It's extremely durable. Catches, or uh, you can catch a lot of fish without it falling apart, and it looks real nice. Now I want this tail to be about half the length of the finished body of the fly here. Put it on the, on the yeah, top of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and just tie it in. Okay, now I'm going to attach our second thread, which is a 6 aught uni thread, the color yellow. So to attach it, I'm just going to go ahead and tie it on as if I was starting any other thread, right up here behind the lead. I'm going to hold it towards the back and I'm going to go ahead with this rusty brown thread and just tie it in. I have it on a bobbin just to make it a little bit easier to handle and to work with. There we go. Bring this rusty brown thread back up, covering all that yellow thread. Okay, and at this point we're now done with the rusty brown, so I'm going to go ahead and just tie it off. Cut it off and be done with it. Okay, now the yellow. This is for our rib. I'm going to spin it ever so slightly to make sure it stays tight and use the rotary function on my vise, which isn't necessary, but it does make it kind of nice to make sure that your rib is nice and evenly segmented. Now I use the 6 aught, uh, mostly because it's a little bit thicker, and if it were 8 aught, we wouldn't be able to see that rib very well. Okay, at this point, when I'm tying these flies, I usually tie them in about oh, 10 or 12 of them at a time. I would whip finish this yellow thread, tie it off, cut it off, put it on a piece of foam, and glue the body all at the same time. Being that it's thread body, um, by gluing them, it makes them more durable and uh, they'll last a very long time. The hook will go dull before the body of this fly will fall apart. Okay, So for tying purposes for this video, I'm just going to continue forward. I'm going to take a piece of black thin skin, pre-cut to about half the width of the gape of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and just tie this on the top here. And I want it to go about a third of the way down the body of this fly. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to take some Mercer's Crystal Buggy Nymph PMD dubbing. It's also a kind of a rusty brown color. I really like this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just dub a quick thorax here. Um, it's got a little bit of flash to it, but very subtle flash. I really like this, this particular dubbing. Okay, and we're going to go right up behind that bead. Okay, now I'm going to stretch this thin skin forward, pulling it tight. And while doing so, I'm going to take this thread and do two wraps over the top. One, two. Then I'm going to stretch it forward and do kind of pinch it into place two wraps in front of it as well. Okay, now with our scissors, we're going to take and cut that thin skin as close as we can to the bead. And we're going to whip finish the collar. And that is it. Very quick, easy, extremely durable fly pattern that catches fish on most rivers that I've ever tried in. It does a great job. Now, I also like to fish it in the blue wing olive variation, which is a darker body with a red collar. For the recipe and a complete list of all the materials we use, go to flytying123.com and uh, check it out. Also remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel here. We've got a lot of fly tying videos, guide tips, and adventure type videos for you guys to enjoy. So come along with us, make sure and subscribe. All right, thanks so much.